Yo, man, no, New Jersey. Yo, man, what's your name, man? Going down, baby. It's Chuck. Chill out from the motherfucking boogie down Bronx. Yo, 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 Chuck. Tell, yeah. him, tell him, yo, for say fuck with Sean's YouTube channel. You know what you gotta do. Don't be a bagel or a sausage. And check out my main man Sean's YouTube channel. You suckers. Yo, Sean, what is it? I said astigmatism in my soul. <laughs> To the window cleaner with soul show, man. I'm the window cleaner with soul. Listening to Rod Stewart, man. Off the coffee and shit. Listen, man, that relationship, that marriage, the expiration date then came and went. That shit is over, man. What you still there for? Motherfuckers, man, a lot of people are in marriages that have long been over. The love has long been, the being in love has long came and went. They may still care for the person, they still may be concerned about that person's well-being. What's up, baby? Get the horn. Get it. What's up, baby? But the passion and the being in love with that person, that shit has long been gone, man. And both parties, the woman and the man, remain in that situation that that uncomfortable stressful soul destroying mentally decomposing fake relationship for appearance sake for what other motherfuckers are saying think if they break up, if they get a divorce, what is she, what is they gonna think about me? What is she gonna say? What my mother gonna say? What my daddy gonna say? What my brother gonna say? What dick, man, shut the fuck up with that pussy ass shit. That relationship is over, man. That shit been over, man. She sleep in one room, you sleep in the other room. She fucking somebody else, you fucking somebody else. All y'all just together because of you got both your names is on the deed, on the house, or on the mortgage. Fuck out of here, man. 
That shit is over, man. And I'm talking to both of y'all, ladies too. Man, say what you got to say, man. If you don't love her no more, man, tell her, man. Tell her, yeah, man, I love you, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. I love somebody else, or I want to be by myself. And ladies, tell that nigga, man, man, I love you. You the father of my kids. I'm gonna always be concerned about you, but I don't love you no more like that. I want to be by myself, man, or I'm moving on. I done found somebody else. Man, just say what you got to say, man. Stigmatism in my soul, man. What the fuck is that, man? Both of y'all live in the same apartment, same house, and don't even speak to each other, man. What, man, get the fuck out of here. Man, I'm not wasting no time with no woman where I got to come out here and clean windows all day, and then I got to come home to my house and be an attention-filled, energy-draining home that's supposed to be my sanctuary because I don't get along with another party that's that man, fuck that shit, man. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? How you doing? What's up? Hey, how you doing, man? All right. Both of y'all just pump faking, man. Wasting time. You don't have sex no more. The sex ain't good no more. He don't make you get wet no more. She don't make you get hard no more. But y'all gonna still stay married, right? And keep your energy and your spirit and your mind in conflict, right? Your mind and your heart and your spirit is in conflict because mentally, you don't want to be there, right? Spiritually, you don't want to be there. In your heart, you don't want to be there, but you stay in there for fucking security or financial reasons or I don't want to lose what I gained. We got equity in this house. Man, fuck that shit, man. You could get that shit again. You could get that shit again with peace of mind and more importantly than that fucking money that you so concerned about and the house, how we gonna sell, how much we gonna get, that shit ain't more valuable than your fucking peace of mind and your soul being at peace, right? And your spirit being tranquil, right? And your energy raising and your vibration coming up and you feeling better and you smiling more and you being more happy, you could put a dollar value on that motherfucker. Let me clean this window, man. Don't fucking play with me, man. Don't play with me with this shit, man. This shit real, man. Niggas out here pump faking, man. And this is across, this is across all ethnicities. In America, this is, it's probably around the planet. This is across all ethnicities. You don't love him no more. He don't excite you no more. He don't get you horny no more. You ain't feeling her no more, kid. It just like was it was it was before, man. You don't like her like that no more. You love her, but you don't love her like that no more, man. It's time to move, nigga. It's time to go. Get that window right there, get clean, man. Get that shit get clean, man. What's up, man? What's going on? I think I'm fucking playing with y'all with this shit, man. Man, subscribe to the channel, man. Motherfuckers done made me mad. And share this motherfucking video, man. Share it. Go to my website and buy a book. Buy both of my books. Gunbeatpublishing.bigcartel.com The link is below, man, underneath this video, man. Both of y'all pump faking. Both of y'all cowards. Both of y'all cowards. I don't want to leave him, cause who I'm a, who gonna want me? And I'm 40 something years old. I don't want to leave her, cause who, who gonna want? Me? Man, shut the fuck up. When you think, when you think negative, you gonna draw a negative. And when you think that, that's what it will be. You gotta take your thinking from one pole and put that shit on the other side, of the other pole. Thinking like, am I gonna be able to do it on this pole? 
and then you come over here on this pole, you say, yo, I'm gonna do that shit. Where your abs at? You got abs? You got abs? That relationship is over, man. That marriage is over. Y'all faking, man. And if you faking at home, in your house, in front of your kids, that's the energy that you putting into your home, into your kids to be fucking fakers, man. And if you faking at home, in your house, you faking out in the external world. You faking in every situation because you faking, faker. But when you real in your home, when you real when you wake up, in your house, you are channeling that reality and that truth and that integrity into your children. And then you're teaching them that, right? You putting it in their constitution by your energy and your vibration. And then when you leave your home in every situation, in every encounter, you ain't doing nothing but putting forth truth, reality, integrity. And then you happier, man. And motherfuckers be on this shit here, like, oh, we staying together for the kids. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. So you, really what you're doing is you teaching your kids how to be fake. What's up, baby? What's going on? YouTube channel. I got the YouTube channel. Really what you're doing is you teaching your kids how to be fake. Oh, we staying together for the kids. You ain't gotta stay together for no motherfucking kids because kids are smarter than what you think. They see what the fuck going on. They feel the energy because children, before we corrupt them and before they're corrupted with how to be fronting and telling lies and perpetrating frauds and pump faking and shit, wearing masks, kids are truth, truth beings, man. And they feel off of energy and vibration. So they feel, you think you hiding something from them? Man, they see that shit and they feel that shit. And the kid who's six, seven years old now, three, eight, 12, one day they're gonna grow up to be 20, 30, 40, and they're gonna get in a relationship and they're gonna understand, oh, now I see why my moms and my pops couldn't stay together because this crazy motherfucker I'm dealing with. They're gonna learn later. Stop faking, man. Motherfucking nigga look good as a motherfucker, man. Where the fed niggas at? Nigga got that motherfucking fed look, man. Stick and test me in my soul.